my name is Langu, Langu Tegamachere. Um, I'm currently a C Sharp developer based in PE, which is soon to change as I'm looking to move into uh, professionally into uh, WordPress. So my story today is it's basically about two guys, um, two types of people, which are WordPress people and the rest. <laughs> um, this could be a group of up to 20 people. We were at a hackathon in PE a uh, couple of months ago. And we were given the task to create a bulk SMS service, like a customized one for a certain entity because they wanted to send out SMSs to some clients they had on a spreadsheet and they wanted to export it into the DB and all of that. So the, um, there were a couple of requirements. Um, SMSs were going up for 22 cents an SMS. I won't name the service that we're using, but I'll happily give it to you offline. I just don't want to promote any other items there. So the judging criteria for, for this little competition that we had going, um, there were seven, six. Portability of the app, uh, security, GUI, the graphical user interface, features, innovation, and ease of use. Um, because we are at WordCamp, obviously, I used WordPress, right? But why did I use WordPress? Um, is it not picking up? No, it's fine. Yeah, this is sad because then you guys don't get to see some of the memes that I've put up. So, that's okay. No, that's all right. Cool. Uh, I guess I'll have to tell you everything like previously. So the slide that I see right now is a picture of a... <laughs> it's a picture of Superman, but Superman doesn't have an S on it. He has a W. Hence, the title of the talk is Look Up in the Cloud. It's an API, it's a plugin, it's WordPress. You know, it's Superman. Awesome. So this is a short story on how to hack together a secure web application with the power of WordPress features, plugins, API, the REST API, user roles with a tight deadline at a hackathon in 24 hours. So there are two kinds of people. WordPress and the, uh, the rest. We'll talk about both, but we'll mostly focus on the WordPress people. Uh, the rest were people who were using your C-sharp and all other languages, right? So we're going to touch on the first topic, which was portability. The ability of software to be transferred from one machine or system to another. Cool. So. Portability, the ability to move, to transfer the software from one machine to another. Who has never installed WordPress yet? Who has? Was it easy? There we go. That is the first thing I actually loved about WordPress. I installed it and in less than five minutes my environment was, was ready. It was, it was on localhost uh, because, you know, still going to break some stuff in. All right. Uh, and I've got a meme here of an old man with a huge white beard with a, with a laptop on his lap. And there's a Windows form that comes up and that says, the wizard will now install your software. Who remembers that? <laughs> cool, at least we don't have to deal with like, those kind of wizards with, with WordPress. Everything is like almost instant. Second point, which was security. Security uh, is defined as the state of being free from danger or threat. Okay, I believe WordPress is very secure and I trust you all believe that too. And the reason why security, remember security is one of the judging features, right? You install WordPress, you already have a registration login form, which is totally um, like, it's concrete, it's, it's strong, you can't break it. So we did, not have, we, did not, we did not have to do anything with, which, which comes to registering and logging on. It's already done. So we, we five minutes into this, into this hackathon, our login page and our register thing is already done. Cool. So we have 23 minutes, 55, 
23 hours, 55 minutes left. Cool. The GUI. Um, we're not going to talk about the front end. We're going to talk about the dashboard, the, the WordPress dashboard, where you find your, your you know, if you want to post something, add some media, add pages, you just click there on the side, and it's got your beautiful picture right there on top, how's it, uh, and all that. Howdy. So, the, one of the, the fourth feature is features, which is a distinctive attribute or aspect of something. Um, there, was, there was Matt, who was giving a talk about oopifying WordPress, using WordPress as an object-oriented uh, standard. And these features were one, one of the things he spoke about. You know, if you have an object, it inherits from the other and you end up having other features that you can use. So that is the best thing about using WordPress. And immediately when you install WordPress and you're going to be ex uh, extending on it, you have all the benefits of, of WordPress, which are currently there, you know, posts, security, um, user roles, which we're going to come in uh, on it now. Um, one of the features I used was adding a new role into WordPress. Uh, we've got a, a couple of roles in WordPress, contributor, author, administrator, uh, editor, subscriber. Am I missing one? Yeah. But we wanted a special, we wanted a special um, kind of role where we could actually manage whether someone is allowed to send an SMS out and if someone is only allowed to just read the SMSs. Now it goes back to security. You don't want someone who just logs into it. You want someone to be able to read SMSs on the, on the portal, but you don't want them to send out messages because they will end up sending messages with some funny language and put the whole company into distribute. And we use the, the, the WordPress REST API um, because this was our, our little portal which was there and it was communicating with another SMS service. So, you know, we had to transport that and get feedback, show it back to the user. So we use that to show the the amount of SMSs you have left and sending, sending. Basically, we did not use any, we did not do any hard, um, hard backend stuff where you know you need to communicate with this gateway and so and so. It was just APIs all the way. Innovation, um, the act of the action of process, the the action of the action or process of innovating. Uh, I think my reading is becoming bad too. So, if we look at WordPress, um, starting off in 20, 2003, it, I've got a picture here of it, of the first theme of WordPress, before the whole um, themes came in, plugins and all of that. And if you look at where it's actually went, starting from 2003 to 2018, I mean, right now we even have the REST API, which is, like, just works out of the box right there. You just need to extend on it. So yes, um, end of the event, the system was, was ready. Uh, we were able to send out SMSs. We didn't complete it because 24 hours. But we were the only group that were able to send out an SMS. The rest just had code. So like, oh yes, this is what you were trying to do. And that is when I saw the real power of WordPress. You can actually go with anything. It's just a matter of time. And you can take advantage of all other features, especially security. Uh, just like our previous speaker was talking about, you know, if you don't know anything about security, you can just like that. You don't want to play with um, uh, logins and messages because it's not, it's not part of the process. Um, so, yes. Um, I had, a, I had a great time. Uh, it was so lovely meeting all of you. Um, I wonder if anyone has questions. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, I think we finished a bit early. Gives us time to catch a break for our next talk. Thank you so much, guys, for coming.